Hello everyone, welcome back here. My name's Scott, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's, this episode, at this episode at this point, I wanna work on uh, C and meat usage, C and meat. Um, they're similar, they're different. I'll get to that. Now, of course, your C is to physically see something and meet is to physically meet someone. So I see you, nice to meet you, for example. But sometimes C equals meet and meet can equal C, but not in the visual sense. But let me explain. Now, if you're meeting somebody for the first time, it'll be a meet situation. Nice to meet you, my name's Scott, the pleasure is all mine. So in that situation, you meet somebody for the first time. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you at the end. That's also a good point there. When you initially meet the person, you say, nice to meet you. And then at the end, you put that meet in the ING and say, nice meeting you. Let's talk again someday. Okay, that's a good point right there. The meet and meeting in that situation. Now, if you meet somebody for the first time, the first time is only one time, of course. After that, there's no more meeting pretty much. Unless it's like meeting after a long time. But after that, you want to switch over to C. So first time, nice to meet you. Second time, nice to see you again. Not necessarily nice to meet you again, nice to see you again. So you want to use C in second time or third time or fourth time. So I haven't seen my brother in uh, two years, for example. Now I haven't met my brother in two years as possible as well. Probably C is a little more natural in that sense. So C, especially after the, the first meeting. So nice to see you again. Um, now with uh, C as well, um, I wanna get to um, a little different situation with C and me. It's, re it's regarding uh, famous people, celebrities, actors, actresses, politicians, famous chefs, anybody. Now, if you actually see that person outside somewhere in Ginza, it's, seeing that person, but that won't be a meet situation. And the meet part has to be uh, actually talking to that person. So um, I'll give you an example. This is based on my experience as well. Uh, the, the actor, Mark Harmon, the American actor, he's famous now for NCIS, the television program. Okay, I met Mark Harmon years ago before I came to Japan. I talked to him where I was working at that point. So I met Mark Harmon once and it goes back over 30 years ago. But I did talk to him, so I will not say see in that sense. I will say meet and met in the past. So I met Mark Harmon on a movie set where I was working a long time ago. Now, I was at the Imperial Hotel some years back as well, and I'm walking down the hallway, and this quite large figure is walking the opposite side, and it was Konishiki. You, Probably you're familiar with the famous sumo wrestler and also a television personality, Konishiki. I didn't talk to him. We did make eye contact, but there were no words said. So in that case, I can't say I met Konishiki at the Imperial Hotel because I didn't talk to him. So I have to say see at that case. So I saw Konishiki walking in the hallway at the Imperial Hotel and only see in that regard. There's no meaning. So be careful because truthfully speaking, some of my students make mistakes on have you ever met a famous person and their idea that seeing is also meeting, but seeing is seeing and meeting is meeting and they're separate ideas. So keep that in mind. So if you see somebody famous outside, just keep it to that. You see someone, I saw someone famous. But if you had a chance to talk to that person, maybe shake hands at an event or a concert or so, then you could say met and you actually exchange words, okay? Um, Two more things with meet that are used as well. I'm gonna give you two more expressions. I'm gonna throw these two expressions in. Uh, meet me halfway. Now, meet me halfway, so you come this far, I go that far, meet me halfway. But also, meet me halfway is when you compromise on something. So you have your position, I have my position, say it's during a negotiation. So that's, well, meet me halfway. You compromise some, I'll compromise some, and maybe we'll have a solution to this negotiation. Meet me halfway is the expression in that case. And also I'll give you meet for expectations. So if something is uh, reaches or you know, you're satisfied, the expectations uh, are satisfactory for you, uh, they met your expectations. So to meet your expectations means to reach your expectations, means that you're satisfied with that result, 
Okay, so I gave you two expressions here as well. Meet me halfway on this uh, problem or uh, meet my expectations. So that restaurant I went to last week, it was great. It met my expectations. The service was great, the food was great. The price was a little bit high, but it met my expectations. Okay, everybody, one more little recap here. Uh, see somebody, I saw, well, I'm gonna give you somebody famous in that case. I saw Tom Cruise at the, the film festival and meet in that situation. I met Tom Cruise at 7-Eleven, for example, and we talked. I helped him out with the dollar yen exchange. So it worked out nicely. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, once again, thanks for subscribing and everything else good that you do. And we'll be back here again soon. In the meantime, everyone, keep studying hard and have a great day. Thanks for watching.